All right, guys. So join me on the process of setting up a Squarespace referral program with Peaches. So I have signed up for the level of the program that I want, and now I'm just adding in all the settings. So here's my shop, my shop information. All right. Yes, I'm on the Squarespace Commerce Advanced plan where I want it to pop up on my website and on the order confirmation email. That makes the most sense to me right now. We'll look at it later and make sure that I like how everything works out. Discount code, I'm going with percentage. You could also go with an amount like a $5 or something like that. I'm not restricting what kind of items it can go towards. I'm allowing people to, to buy products or services, both with this discount code. The Discount code expires within seven days. That way it encourages people to go ahead and use it. You can change that if you want. One reward per person. If you want people to only get that referral benefit one time, I don't see why I would do that. Let them keep telling different friends about it. If you want to do stackable rewards where they could get like five, 10, 15, $20 by sharing with multiple friends, then you have to have their business plan. If it's successful and it becomes worth it to upgrade, then I will. So after following the refers link, the friend is given a discount code. I'm making it the same. Give 10, get 10. Then expire and discount, same thing after seven days. Okay, advanced setting. Um, fraud protection, high peaches, checks, refers, and friends for potentially fraudulent activity by using a VPN and suspicious public Wi-Fi. And I'm just going to go with these default things probably. Use a generic refer code. Self-referral protection prevents friends being rewarded when they are referred by someone on the same device, network, or IP address. It's automatically switched on when you go live, but you can turn it off here. You can't refer yourself. That makes sense. Okay. So you can't send another one of your emails the same referral code. It has to be actually going to a friend. By default, when friends visit a referral link, they're taken to the page the referrer was on. Set this URL to override where the friends are taken when they visit a referral link. That's interesting. I think I might have to see how that pans out. This is saying it would take you directly to the shop, whereas let's say they were on the blog when they clicked on it. It would take the person to the blog. Do I want them to go directly to the store? We shall see. Okay, I'm on an individual plan. All right, so... The next step, I backed up a step in order to, to record this for you guys. Um, I'm going to save that configuration. Okay. Connect. Now, I'm connecting it to my Squarespace account. And the way that you do that is to invite a contributor. So I'm going to invite name Peaches Referrals. Okay. Right. Email address, Ivy and Light at peaches.co. Makes sense. Permission administrator. And if you want to know why they need to be an administrator, um, you, can, you can look at this. Okay. So now I'm going to invite, invite set. Squarespace connection and process, account connected, waiting for co contributor invitation. Oh, test. So you just have to wait for this to go. I'm going to pause this. All right, we've got success here. So now we can add our store script. Add embedded footer script to your Squarespace store to run your referral program. Click this link to open your Squarespace code injection setting. I already know how to do that, so let's go back to advanced code injection. See all my fun scripts here. Okay. Add the script below to the start of the footer field. I guess I could just copy it. Footer field, footer field. Oh, that's nice. It actually does show you Peach's referral program. Okay. So, test. Oops, I should save it. Silly me. Test. Okay. Let's see if it really actually has to be at the top. Don't 
don't really care. I don't think it matters, but save. Let's even renew this page. Now let's test it. All right, so we're going to have to pause and we're going to have to figure out why this didn't work. Okay, part two, while we wait to get a response on why the uh, the code, entering the code is not working, we're going to move on to our customization. So edit website pop-up. Give friend reward, get friend reward. So that would be the 10%, 10%, right? That I chose. Send a friend off their next purchase at Ivy and Light. After they place their first order, we'll send you a discount for off your next order. Go, so sign, submit button. I think it would be send, submit button text. Content text color. Same as page. Sure. Pop-up button. The pop-up button appears at the corner of your website. When a visitor clicks on the button, they'll be shown the form to sign up. Bottom left, bottom right. So if you're on a phone, I'm assuming it would be the same thing. You want it to be your bottom right because that's the easiest to click. Get reward after next. Uh, number, background color. Shift upwards on mobile. A mobile device is for certain square space themes. The referral pop-up button covers the cart button at the bottom of the screen. If this happens on your site, turn on this setting. I don't think it happens on my site. Yeah, my cart button is on the top right. So I don't think that matters. Keep button after closing. When a visitor clicks the X to hide the pop-up button, do you want the button to reappear when they visit a new page? Let's start with yes. And if I think it's annoying, then I'll get rid of it. But they're, they're suggesting it, right? Default share message. Get blah, blah, blah off your first order with Ivy and Light. Refer a link. Reward pop-up content. When friends earn a reward, a pop-up widget will appear with the following HTML content. Thanks to your friend, you've got X reward off your next order. Apply the discount code below at checkout. Okay. Restrict pop-up to pages. Hide everywhere except for these pages. Show everywhere except for these pages. Yeah. I can't think of... So we're going to do no restriction. What it's looking like to me is that I'm going to need to do some testing or ask my audience to do some testing to see if it's too much or if it's not enough, right? So I'm going to go with no restriction, just put it on all the pages, and then I will see what that actually looks like. And then, of course, at any point, I can come back and make these changes. So save. It looks like I can view a preview. That's cool. Get 10% off your next order. Okay, so that's going to be here on every page. Give 10%, get 10%. Send a friend 10% off their next purchase at Ivy and Line. After they place their first order, we'll send you a discount for 10% off your next order. Okay, so then your name and your email and then send. I wonder if that means, like send it to my email. Send a friend. How do I want to share? Link copied email to this person get 10 percent off your first order okay let me see what it looks like if i if i open my email okay so when i submitted then i i guess i need to not say send because they're not actually sending it to their friend at that point Hey, Erin, welcome to our Refer a Friend program for Ivy and Light. All you need to do now is share your referral link with your friends, and you'll get sent your reward in no time. If you ever want to check how close you are to your reward, just click the button below. You can also copy and paste your referral link from that page in case you lose it. Any questions, just reply to this email. So let's try view details. Oh, well, that's fun. Okay. Your progress, refer friends. So visit referred orders. So that would show if your friend visited or if they ordered. Share your referral link with your friends. Okay, so I can keep copy and pasting that and, and, and use it, send it in all these ways. Sign up forms. So send a friend off their purchase. Let's get my link.
So let's save that and let's do the preview again. Get my referral link. That makes a lot more sense to me. Send a friend after they place a first order, you can get, we'll send you a discount for 10% off. Get my referral link. So now we can go back. That was the pop up. Edit the referral welcome email. This is what I just showed you guys in my email. Yeah, I mean, that looks good to me. I am not the marketer on my team. So there are probably ways that you could make this better. But I, at this point, I'm trusting that they know what they're doing. <sighs> okay, email, message. So this is if they choose to get the message link sent you a message you can visit their link using the button below to send your friend a message just reply to this email send this preview you're going to send you a message about id plus like this is a test preview i'm okay therefore personalized message to your friend okay here you can visit their link using the button below that seems a bit generic yeah i think i'm going to add this to my to-do list to make that a bit sexier okay. message to a friend referral email referral reward email hey thanks for referring a friend to ivy and light this email contains your discount code to use in your next order just going to save all of that launch we can't we'll launch until i get this figured out so we'll i'll be back with the rest of this later all right so on the adding the script um i don't actually know what was wrong but i do know that peaches has a great customer service because i got an email back saying i fixed it and uh you know you can go ahead and finish your process so click test all right so whatever it was that was wrong is now good to go and so we can launch our program i know when i hit go live it's going to ask me for my payment information so let me pause while i do that all right so now we're going to hit go live success referral program is live automatic fraud provision is running self-referral protection is running so that should mean if i go actually to ivmlight.com there we go get 10 percent off your next order it's right there in the bottom of the screen Let's try it. Get my referral link. How do I want to share? Um, okay, it's copied that link or Facebook. Let's see how, how that works. Awesome. So that would just show my referral link and I can just say whatever I want to. And then I guess my link is embedded. Okay. If I X out of it, X out of this, let's go to same thing we did before. Let's see if it pops back up. There it is. Get to myself for your next order. Awesome. So that appears to be working. I just have to decide now, should I allow people to X out of it and never see it again? I have to think about that. Then I have to ask myself, is there a page like, let's say our free Facebook group. Do I want them to see that on that page? Not necessarily because I want them to focus on signing up for the Facebook group, right? So I will probably talk with Chloe, my web designer, and also have my community members check and just see uh, what everybody thinks about, you know, what the best way is to be present, a front of mind for people to help them take advantage of this offer, but then also not to be annoying people because you don't want to do that when people are on your website. You don't want to be annoying. You want to be helpful and you want to lead them on a journey. All right, so let's see how this goes. I'm excited. All right, guys, one more uh, video on this before I move on. So I just, once I had everything set up, I went into my dashboard and I wanted to just kind of show you guys what it would look like on the back end. Four total shares. And of course, I literally just went live. So I know that's all me. But then you can see two link clicks, Facebook, email, all right? And new refers one. So I can see that 
Aaron is me. That was the link that we saw when we were um, testing it out. And so the new referrers is one, but then you can see how people are referring as well. So it's nice to be able to have the total number and then the actual people broken up. And then total store sales, orders by referrers, orders by friends, referral program revenue. And of course, all of these numbers will be helpful, but from the perspective of seeing is Peaches worth it, worth having this membership, you know, the referral program revenue is going to be huge in telling that. If if paying the monthly fee to set this up with Peaches is as a percentage worthwhile, can I afford to take that amount of money off of my sales plus be paying them a monthly um, order? So I guess my review of Peaches will be coming later because first I have to see does it work for me, right? All right, so this is how to set it up. Definitely check back on my YouTube channel later to see a review of how it's working for me so far. All right, guys, see you soon.